Hello and welcome to this video, which is on the mistakes to avoid in Pal World and a few of the tips to make this game much easier for you. But firstly, these tips are for the current state of the game, so some of these may change later. So let's get right into it. You can avoid drowning by using a saddle pow. Most of these you can find for ground ones earlier for the rush war, or you can get any of the flying ones. Which brings me into the next thing. To get a flying mount, you can either capture a nightwing or a van worm. These are found at these locations. Then you just have to be level 15 and 21 respectively to unlock their saddle. Build it at a pal bench and you'll be able to fly on these. The grapple hook can move you while you're over encumbered. To unlock the grapple hook you have to be at level 10 and then if you defeat this timed boss in this area you'll be able to gain points to unlock it. Any skill type can be taught to any pal but don't give them more than 15 since no scroll bar is currently present for the skills. Keep in mind element strength and the time it takes to cast certain skills. When you're looking over the skills in your PAL deck, you'll be able to see that there is a CT number. This is cast time. The higher it is, the longer it takes. Also keep in mind that the power is the strength of the skill and the damage that it deals. When building bases, place them mostly near ore spawns, black markets, or skill trees, as this will help in gathering these items later. But they'll also act as a timer for other spawn locations that you like to farm at. The two best early game places that I found is near this area here, as there's a skill tree, a black market, and an area of ore spawn. Or you can set up next to this desolated church in the red forest. It has a ore spawn right next to it as well as a black market down below. While building bases, keep the rule of two in mind as your pals can get really big. So always have your walls too high and have your doorways too wide. This will help your pals navigate through the building. It can also prevent the pals from getting stuck and having no path. Avoid areas that have lots of rocks or hills for your bases, and remember that your foundations that you place stop spawning of items such as trees and ores within the area that you place the foundation. Pals that you have can be traded to anyone in the same guild within the job section of the pal box down below. In the early game, always keep a ranch and have a vixie within the base. They will gather random items such as spheres, gold, and arrows, which will save on craft times. When fighting pals, it is always better to capture them over killing them, since you will still get the drops and the pals can be sold for gold at any pal vendor later. You can capture bosses. These pals have more health and defense compared to their normal selves and they're shown with this little icon, while shiny pals are bigger and have the rare perk attached. Increases their attack by 15% and work speed by 15%. I haven't seen a rare boss yet, but it could be possible. While capturing a big or high level pal, keep a poison or fire bow or both on you since more stat effects make capture rates better and these are easier to apply since you have distance for these status effects but it is always better to use stronger spheres. The life monk effigies that you can find throughout the world that increase your character's capture rate are easier to find at night since they glow a bright green. And lastly, make sure you keep the pal deck handy because anytime you have seen a pal at least once, even if you don't capture them, you'll be able to know their habitat location so you know where they spawn. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.